Hi there, it's Kurt here sending you love wherever you are around the world, giving you much love now. You know, working with clients all around the world, I often deal with individuals that uh, are in relationships and inevitably or at some point go through a breakup. If you've been through a breakup, then you know it can be one of the most excruciating, one of the most painful, one of the most challenging, one of the most heart-wrenching, heartbreaking experiences that you can have as a human being in the range of experience that you can have as a human being. But I also say, what if breaking up with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your intimate partner, what if breaking up was actually a profound gift and a profound catalyst for your spiritual, psychological and emotional growth? What if breaking up didn't actually have to be a negative thing, but could actually be a graduation, could be an expansion of love? You see, when you meet someone, we attract to each other in relationship, a manifestation of an aspect of our own consciousness at that particular point in time. Who you are at that time, based on that, based on the state of your nervous system, your perception, your identity, based on who you are in that moment and what's resolved, what's healed, what's unresolved inside of you, you will attract to you a manifestation, a perfect mirror that will gift you, that will show you, that has come into your life to teach you particular lessons at that particular point in time based on who you are and who they are. I say that relationship and attraction, the process of attraction, have you ever wondered why do we attract who we attract? Why do we attract the person, the man or woman we attract to in relationships? You know, it's often based on our conditioning and our programming. Many times we think we're choosing, but we're not really choosing. So who you are at a particular point in time is often what determines who you attract. So my question is, who have you been attracting to you in a relationship? Because based on that, you attract a partner. And as you grow and as you evolve, you change and hopefully your partner changes. The real purpose of relationship is ultimately for your growth and evolution. That you come together with a soul mate. And, the, and no, I didn't say body mate or mind mate or even emotion mate, but I said soul mate where both of your souls have long ago agreed to serve each other. You come together in a relationship to serve each other's growth and evolution, to reveal to each other, to assist each other in peeling away the illusions, peeling away the layers, and ultimately growing, evolving. And you have come together with another person in relationship because there are certain lessons that you both have attracted each other into each other's lives to teach each other at that particular point in time. Relationship ultimately is for your growth and evolution. So as you, it's really about two people coming together, going in a similar direction, at a similar pace, with similar intent, similar vision. So as you grow, the intention and the hope is the other person grows and you both keep evolving and growing together and living happily ever after for the rest of your lives. But often, you shift and you change. Have you noticed that sometimes you change and you shift and you evolve, but the other person doesn't grow and evolve. Or you grow in one direction, the other person grows in another direction. So long as you're both evolving and growing, becoming more of who you are growing in a similar direction together, then you have the potential to keep evolving and growing together in an intimate partnership for Lord knows how long, hopefully the rest of your life, when one, one of you grows and the other doesn't, and, and you keep growing, you may have experienced where you ultimately end up, then there's a pressure that occurs in your relationship and you ultimately end up outgrowing the person. This is not good, this is not bad, it's just what is. And when you start outgrowing someone, or you start growing in a different direction with that person, it puts pressure on the, 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 the energetic of the relationship that you were previously in, and the way in which you were both relating to each other until that particular moment. And many times you feel, in that moment, you feel that, wow, I'm no longer growing in this relationship. Wow, I, I don't feel I can be the full expression of who I am in this relationship. Or you feel a sense of like, I'm no longer truly, deeply in love with this person. You might feel like, I love this person, right? I love this person, but I'm not really in love with them anymore. I believe that we, as we come together to learn and grow and learn lessons, when you learn those lessons, 
Often that's a moment when those lessons are complete between you and that person, between your soul and their soul. That's often the moment where you end up having to restructure the relationship. Often what happens for many of us is we get so comfortable in a certain way of relating, we often get so comfortable with that person that even though we know that something needs to shift, we know that the relationship is no longer aligned, it's no longer good for us, healthy for us, right for us, we often get so comfortable that we're afraid to, to break up. We see breaking up as something bad. We see breaking up as a failure. I believe that so long as you are growing and evolving in relationship, you cannot fail in relationship. The moment you stop growing and evolving in relationship, even if you stay in relationship, you're, you're, you're failing, so to speak. It's all about growth and evolution. So what if you, and there's many reasons we break up. You fall out of love, you go in different directions, your goals, your needs, who you, who you become completely, you become different people. So I feel that, what if you were to view breaking up, not as something negative, not as something bad, but when who you are and who the other person is, energetically, mentally, emotionally, emotionally no longer vibrationally matches, is no longer a match, what if you were to view breaking up actually as a graduation? As a graduation that where you've learned the lessons you need to learn and breaking up now becomes a celebration and a graduation so that you can actually transcend and move to the next level of your growth. It's like, you know, being in high school and you get to grade 12 and all of a sudden it's time for you to graduate to go to university and you know it's time to go to university but you say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not leaving high school, I'm going to stay in high school and you end up miserable or outgrowing the situation. It takes courage to be who you are and I see so many amazing individuals hold themselves back from growing and evolving because they're afraid to let go, they're afraid to break up. But I believe that if you're willing to view breaking up as a graduation and you can both have, if you, if you and your partner both have a conscious awareness and understanding of the real purpose of a relationship which is to serve each other's growth and evolution, then you have the potential, if need be, to break up also with conscious awareness. Yes, there's emotions. Yes, there's pain. Yes, there's sadness. Yes, there might be resentment. But if your intent is, I'm here to serve your soul's highest evolution and growth. I'm here to serve your soul's highest evolution and growth. growth then you can both come together to, to break up and use your breakup as a breakthrough into a higher version of yourself. Using your breakup to expand the love. So then you both get to ask yourself, what, how can we recreate our relationship? How can we recreate the form of how we relate? Because the way we're relating is not allowing the fullest expression of myself. The way we're relating is not allowing the fullest expression of love between us. That's when you know it may be time to break up when you're not evolving, growing, or being yourself, or the fullest expression of love between you and that person is not expanded. So then you get to ask yourself, what structure in relationship do we need to create so that more love can expand, more love can evolve between us and the world and being more of who I am? So take a look at your relationships. It takes courage to be honest. It takes courage to take a look at yourself if you're dealing with a breakup right now, if you're dealing with a breakup in your life in this moment, I invite you to feel all of the feelings, acknowledge the feelings. Yes, there's pain. Yes, there might be heartbreak, but you realize if you're willing to feel all of your feelings, those negative feelings, the sadness, the pain, the resentment, or the fear, all of that will at some point, if you're willing to hold your feelings and feel them in a healthy way, they will dissolve. And there'll be more space. There'll be more space for love, more space for possibility, more space will be available to you in that moment. Learn the lessons that you, that person, that experience has brought into your life. Make sure you learn the lesson in that relationship. And also I invite you in that moment of breakup that you don't just run into a new relationship, but that you actually get to create the space and the time to be with yourself so that you can fall in love with yourself and actually create the space to reintegrate with your own energies, learn the lessons, recalibrate yourself, shift yourself, 
because ultimately you attract to you in relationship who and what you are. You attract what you are. So if you want to attract something different next time, rather than just what some people do, jump into a new relationship, create the space, reintegrate, shift your energies, forgive, release, let go, really let go so that you can have an open space for something new to come into your life based on who you have become as a result. Every relationship is here to serve you to become more of who you truly are. Use every breakup as a breakthrough to more of who you are and to more love. I love you lots. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my blog. Until then, love now.